Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to another episode of Extreme Prey and Friends. Uh, this, um, in this episode, me and Yola are talking about uh, books and uh, manga, which we both read, and then it leads into another, another um, short story about Jordan using one of um, the many, um, blah, using one of the many story generators we found on the internet. I hope you guys enjoy, and, um, yeah. Great! It's about murder and racism! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow. Your books are amazing. I got really bored, so I started drawing um, some stuff, and I ended up drawing some really depressing stuff about Fred dying in Harry Potter. <laughs> and I was just like, what am I doing? Um... Jordan's online! I know he's online, but he's not... He's dead. I, don't, he's I, I don't know whether he's on his laptop or his pewter. Hmm. Computer. I said pewter. I'm using <laughs> right now. Oh, wait, yes, he is online because it says nine minutes remaining on the audio file he wants to send me. So he's subconsciously sending me a file. Oh, God, what's this? I'm sending you a file. I, it's I, literally my reaction to Soul Eater. <laughs> I saw my master said loading. Oh god. Oh god. What is this? What is what? They're apparently going to kiss. What? <laughs> Shall we go visit the professor? Oh sure, let's go visit the insane professor who not only tries to dissect us on a daily basis, but is infected with insanity. That sounds like a swell idea. <laughs> Oh my god, my brain is gonna explode right now. It's like, what the hell am I looking at? <laughs> Do you want to try and add Jordan to the call? See try. Happens. Try, see what happens. He'll most likely call me a bitch a billion times. Good morning, Jordan. <laughs> We're going to piss you off. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, Kung Fu Patty, watch how she'll knock you out with her kick Kung Fu pow powers of awesomeness and maybe a few giraffes. Yay! <laughs> I don't think John wants to... <laughs> you know, he, there's a decline button, he could at least press that. Yeah, I know. Instead of just sitting, staring at the screen going, doo-doo, doo-doo. <laughs> he could be like... Or he could be, he could, he could be like, you know, not this. Like, yeah. <laughs> He's just gonna be like, the blankest expression on his face, staring at his computer. <laughs> it probably is. The drama's kicking in. He's just like, what should I do? Should I press the button? Should I answer the call? There you go. No, I'll accept Newell's file. That's what... Just his face. I'm taking it. He's not gonna. Act. <laughs> like, I'll try it again later on. <laughs> it's just like my scarves are made. I'm of... sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a face. What happened to me? Oh God, another one. I can sense this is gonna go weird. <laughs> Oh, this one's different. This isn't a JPEG. This one is a PNG. Lol. I'll tell you, if Jordan logs off now and, um... He probably will. He does that a lot. <laughs> uh, I know, I didn't realise that when I was watching that. What? Did you just realize that they're in fact naked? Yeah, I know, it was kind of, it's kind of, when I saw that I was like, yeah, okay, they're naked, what? <laughs> it's like, okay, they what? They just sent her up with massive glowing beams though, so, all is good. 
I can so because nothing says true love like coming out of your partner's stomach. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh god. I'm pretty sure Black Star is narrated to, related to Naruto. Like definitely. Right, okay, Jordan, attempt two. <laughs> he hasn't changed his picture in a while. In fact I haven't changed my picture in a while. I'm going to change my picture. Should I? It's got my book cover on it. Alexander! Mm. Yes. <laughs> Did you know it's actually Alex Ander? Okay. Confusion! Um, my god. I just turned my webcam on so that way I could um, take a picture. And it's just tried to focus in thanks to the massive outdoor window that's right in front of my computer. <laughs> Oh, there we go. I can just defocus it and completely confuse everything. Wait, what should I do? Oh, I've got a can of monster here. I could drink that while I'm taking a picture. My brother's trying to get me to read Ender's Game. Gosh, gosh, gosh. It's like... Oh. It's because we watched the movie, and then my the next day my dad literally came back from the stop shops like, Hey, here's your book, and I'm like, okay. And it's like fourth on my list. Please, just... Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I've got all these books that I need to look up because I'm sad and I need more stuff to add to my niche. Um. Yeah. I remember John sending me a picture a while ago. I'm going to see if I can... how far back it can go. Basically, he took a picture from my Facebook account and it, it literally just says, don't, um, don't fuke with this kid. <laughs> you like how I censored that out then? <laughs> F-U-K-E. I wonder what that means. I'm gonna find out now. Okay, I'm actually pretty sure this is on my list. Is it? Okay. Oh my I, god, you're scary! Tell you. Right, okay, I, okay, I found, I found something with Fook in it. Mm-hmm. Are you ready for this? Ammo. Yes. Okay. Fook was a dick, uh, was a uh, distinct or epithermal uh, derivative school of Japanese Zen Buddhism, which, original, <laughs> which originated as an obscuration of the Rin... Rinzai school during the na nation's fu feudal era. <laughs> feudal. Feudal. Ah. Uh, era. So basically, I just named a Japanese torture school. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> I feel amazing right now. Uh, you can tell by the tone of my voice. Every five minutes, I'm just going to do this. Is he? Oh, well, at least he does that that time. What? <coughs> okay. Right. Once. I hate him. Um, save grouping con... No, wait, what? I don't know anymore. I'm on drugs. I'm not. This looks okay. There's something achingly familiar about Daniel that can't read his last name. <laughs> Mysterious and aloof, he catches loose Price's attention the moment she sees him on the first day of sword and cross boarding school in solitary savannah. A place I can't read. Um, he's the one bright spot in a place where cell phones are forbidden and other students are all screw ups. <laughs> 
And security cameras watch every move. Even though Daniel wants nothing to do with this. Hmm. I might add this to my list. Ooh. Stop it, Nyula. You're just giving yourself more work to do. It's not work. It's awesomeness. It's... Yeah. Awesomeness. You, um, you know well. how we had that whole thing with the automatic story generator? Uh-huh. Well, there's an automatic plot generator. <gasps> oh, great. Right, entire short story. Okay, let's do an entire short story. Because I can't be bothered to write anything. Right. <coughs> Title. Uh, name after the protagonist. Name after the secondary character. Name after an object from the story. Name after the weather. Name after the place where it all happens. Or random. I'm going to go for random. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's all I heard was... Fallen. Yes. Torment. Opening. Set the scene. Launch into action or focus Fashion. on relationship. Oh, wait, no. I'm going to do that. You are Fallen. Yeah? Well, should the opening be to set the scene, launch into action, foc or to focus on the relationship? Hmm. What's the, mo what's the name? It's random at the moment. Okay. So, absolutely anything could happen. I don't know. You choose. Oh, well, thanks. Okay, we'll just set the scene for now. Conflict. Emotion, violent, or financial. Um, it has to be emotional. Okay. Okay, resolution, happy, sad, or violent. Oh god. Well, I would have thought that violent would be sad. Um. Nuala, what do you think? I don't know! Stop asking me stuff! Okay, I'll stop. Name um. of the protagonist. Okay, we already know. Already um. know. The name of the protagonist. <laughs> the name of all of my protagonists, and he will always be the name of all my protagonists, uh, Jordan <laughs> William. <laughs> I thought I was going to be like, oh, he's going to pick Jordan William. Well, of course I am. If anything's going to happen, no, I don't want that to happen to me, or any of one of my friends. <laughs> Jordan's my friend, one of my own about. Uh, <laughs> male or female? Oh, female. Your secondary character. Um, we've already used Obama. What can we use? Um, Marked. What? Sorry, I'm adding book. Ah. <laughs> Uh, let's use... Who can we use as character? Um... Edward Cullen. Book. Series. There we go. There we go. Alexandra. I can't read that. Um... Okay, where was I? Edward Cullen. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a quick epic. I don't care if I spell his name wrong. I, I, I can't I can't be bothered with that series, right? Oh, I'll just use two else. Right, he's male. What does the second Terry what does the second character want from this um protagonist? Oh, I could type something. Um <laughs> Intense stare time. I am going to put this somewhere else in my list. I will put it after... How does the second character feel about the protagonist? Positive or negative? Positive. Yeah. <laughs> Something the protagonist would like to say to the second character. 
Oh god, I am your father. <laughs> um, Scott, Scott, right, this is weird. Okay, so this book is called Halo, and it's three angels are sent down to bring good to the world. Gabriel, the warrior, Ivy, the healer, and Bethany, a teenage girl who's the least experienced of the trio. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Gabriel, Ivy, I Ivy and then Bethany. <sighs> Bethany will most likely die. I hope she dies. I need a kit cat. Name the place where it all happens. Spares? <laughs> We've already used spares as a setting. Um, Afghanistan. Just because. How did a protagonist feel about the place? Positive or negative? <laughs> Jordan loved to go to Afghanistan on the weekends. <laughs> uh, negative. A feature of the place. Trees, houses, um, houses or rivers or anything. Um, nightclub. In Afghanistan. Where there's war. Two adjectives that could be used to describe the place. Sexy. And upbeat. <laughs> Four emotional um, adjectives. Um, suggest. Fuzzy. Calm. Barmly. Surprise. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Okay. An adjective that could be described and uh, that could describe an object. Um silky. Five adjectives to describe somebody's character. Hmm. Correct. <laughs> um strong. Oh no, um... Pointy. <coughs> wow, a lot of people, 25 people say that this is a one star book. Hmm. This is weird. 17 year old Ever is the sole survivor of a car crash that killed her entire family. Living with her aunt in so Southern California, she's plagued with the ability to hear the thoughts of those around her. Haunted by the ghost of her little sister, she tries to tune everyone out, shunning her whole lifestyle as the pretty popular cheerleader. But somehow she can't hide from Damien. <laughs> of course, that's bad. Um, the new guy from the school, sh stunningly handsome, cle clever, and not a little bit intimidating. There is something about him that doesn't quite add up. Ever realizes that he's hiding something, but nothing can prepare her for the truth, especially when it, when the truth involves past lives, murders, enemies, everlasting love, and a secret eternal youth. Yeah. <laughs> I've put that um, before reading Vampire Academy. There we go. Okay. Something, somebody vulnerable singular so e.g. old lady baby bird or toddler um so it has to be someone or something can you think of anything nope okay i'm gonna click the suggest button old man puppy toddler injured bird puppy blind person owl Puppy. Why is puppy such a popular? Do ah. puppy. Do puppy. Puppy. Okay, puppy. 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 Just to. All right. And now you might compare the main character to. Sex slave. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh. I, I, no. No. Um. Compare him to a walrus. A walrus. <laughs> I don't know. When I think Jordan, I think Walrus. Whoa. And now you might compare the other character to. Um, Spot. 
Spot. <laughs> Cat. No. Cat. Oh no, my no, no, no. god. No, 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 no. Um, February. February. Yes. This is going to be the weirdest <laughs> plot. Uh. Right. Uh, a type of music. Um. <laughs> I don't like that evil laughter. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Dubstep. <laughs> the protagonist's favourite drink. Um. <laughs> Dog fight. <laughs> <laughs> Two objects. Yes. Um, oh god. <laughs> um, a pencil. Okay, okay. Nice yes, save. Pe pencil and a book. A pencil and a book. Currency. <laughs> oh god. Rocks. <laughs> Rocks? <laughs> A noun to do with the weather, so like a type of weather. Um. Crap. <laughs> Fine. Free animals. Um, plural. So, animal plurals. Yeah, well, yeah, free animals. Um, narwhals. Ponies and wolves. There always has to be wolves. <laughs> right, wolves. Two body parts. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> what? No, no, no. Come on, come on. If I click back. Oh, thank God. Right, two body parts. Um, I already know one of them. Um... <laughs> Can you think of a body part? A toe. Just a singular toe. <laughs> Four adjectives describe uh, physical characteristics. Like characteristics. Erect. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Right, I'm just going to do suggest on these. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, one of them's solid. That one of them's ugly. <laughs> Finally, what's your pet? Uh, what's your pen name? Um. Zeus Smell Poop Lord. <laughs> Zeus Smell Poop Lord. Yeah, it's spelled, um. Zeus. Smell. Poop. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to copy and paste it. It's going to take two. My God. With all the names. Oh, right. Write me a story. Let's go. Okay. Let's have a look. Okay. Right. It even gave me a cover image. <laughs> <laughs> What's the cover? Right, I'll send you it now. Oh god. This won't be good, will it? I, I just, I'm just like... Right, I'll send you the image and then I'll send you the story. Right. Cover image. No, oh my god! I've just realised what the title was. What's the title? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Your hungry uncle coming to the beat. <laughs> I would read that. <laughs> and you are going to. Oh great. Are you going to get me to read it? Uh, go on then. 
<laughs> John Grunkle, Pumping to the Beat, a short story by Zeus Small Poop Lord. Jordan Williams has always hated sex. <laughs> Afghanistan with its nutritious nutritious new nightclub it was a place where she felt puzzled she <laughs> she was an erect strong piss drinker <laughs> <laughs> right okay right they, they were two separate categories in the next <laughs> word they were, uh, so i didn't do that the story generated did that with, a, with an erect penis and brunetto her friends saw her as a witty, warm walrus <laughs> when she was even helped. And she even helped a sharky puppy, puppy recover from a flying incident. <laughs> a shaky puppy recover oh God, recover from a flying incident. That sort of woman he was. <laughs> Just change gender. Okay. Um, Jordan walked over to the window, flecked it up her beach surroundings the crap tasted <laughs> <laughs> like bouncing wall <laughs> she saw something in the distance or rather someone it was a figure of Edward Cullen and it was pointy February with Uncle Penis oh no the ugly loose and solid toe <laughs> Jordan gulped. She was not prepared for Edward. As Jordan stepped outside and Edward came closer, she could see fat glints of his eye. Mm, fl- fat glints, glint of his eye. That's weird. Okay. Um. Edward gazed at the a- affection of four thousand nine hundred sixty-six hard. Oh my God! <laughs> he said in a hushed tone, "I love you," and I want an intense stare time. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? What? What is it? Ten t- It's what happens in every single Twilight film ever. Actually, yeah, it is okay. Um, Jordan looked back, more, even more healthy, and still fingering that silky penis. Edward, I need to pencil, get- pencil. Edward, pencil game. <laughs> Edward, I need to get catchy or fly. <laughs> they looked at each other with concerned feeling. Like two pong packy ponies bobbing at the very large masturbation. <laughs> Which had dubstep music playing in the background and two hungry uncles humping to the beat. Oh my god! Jordan regarded Edward's ugly penis and solid toe. I feel the same way. He relieved Jordan with a delighted grin. Edward looked sparky. Sparkly, his emotions blushing like a blue-eyed breakable book. Edward came inside for a nice drink of piss. The end. I am going to save that to my computer. 10 out of 10. That was amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> We're weird, aren't we? Um. It's one way for it. Oh, I can't fucking. Can't help but feel that because uh, it's a group called Jordan got this as well. I hope he did. <laughs> we should read it to him. Let's get him out. <laughs> You're reading it this time. Because I can't read. <laughs> Two hungry uncles bumping to beat. Oh god, he's busy. He's so always goddamn busy. Look at him with his thumbs up. Oh yeah, um, um, there is this uh, song. It says "God forsaken love." Um, God forsaken right to be loved, and there's um, why is the phrase "God forsaken love" to be right? Well, God is love. I think it's like, this person. I think it's meant to be poetic like that. 
like love exists independent of God. God, God certainly is a kind of love, but romance is something more universal in the mind of the eternity of the world and more specific to God. <laughs> there are more people that fall in love than believe in, in any single God. Also, I could uh, do the rejection review, Christian views, nature romance. Also, it could be neat lyric. It could be a really neat lyric that sounds fantastic in the song. Honestly, half ha- half of the lyric in, lyrics in this song don't make a ton of sense. God for they can write to be loved. It's right. God gave us to be loved. Give God gave us to be loved, but we're forsaking it. We've forsaken it. Yeah, it's just like yes, that's what needs to be in YouTube comments. <laughs> yes. Right, okay, I, I'm going to form a thing, um, I'm going to make um, a book by creating a blurb to the <laughs> Right, what, what is it? I'd say it would be like a teen vampire thing. <laughs> because that's what it was, your protagonist. Um, it was John Williams. There we go, it's already got everything mapped out for me. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh, your god. Stop, 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 stop! Jesus Christ. <laughs> do, I, do I want to ask? <laughs> and, well, it turns out that I, I clicked something wrong and then, like, my computer started reading it out. <laughs> oh. It was all like, oh, okay, uncle's something to me, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Uh, oh god, I'm gonna have to add my name into this, I've just realised that. Sorry. <laughs> Wait, why do I have to add my name into it if I don't even show up in the story? <laughs> Logic! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Got the right to be loved. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. My gran gave me a book that it's supposed to, that's supposed to be really, really creepy. And it's really weird. And I'm going to go get it off my bookshelf. Well, you just broke it. <laughs> um, it's called Last to Die. And it's, like, really weird. Detective Jane Rizzoli and forensic pho- pathologist Flora Eilis find themselves locked inside a high-security boarding school along with the students, and they're, to- they're told is for their own safety. The school has been set up to provide a place of sanctuary for children who have lost their families in violent circumstances. But now there has been a murder on the grounds. Does the threat come in from outside or from within? And it's like, she told me it was really creepy. Scott, do you know what a Goldilocks plan is? No. It is a planet that the, um, that, like, scientists don't know if it's hot or cold. Ah. That's a thing. It's weird. Well, that's where I leave you. The book smells of my gran. Why does my book smell of my gran? Oh, it doesn't smell of a book. It smells of my gran. <laughs> I want this book to smell like a book. Yeah, because books smell good. <laughs> that's the thing about books. They demand to be smelt. Do, do you get high off of books? Yes. You just constantly smell books all day I smell long. them more when I'm crying, because when I'm crying, I'm just like... Nah, nah. Don't ask. I'm not going to. <laughs> Good. Have you read The Fault in Our Stars? Um, no. Scott, read The Fault in Our Stars. But I don't want to die. No! Ah! Like, seriously, if you don't read the following stars right now, I will kill you. That or I will start reading it to you, because literally it's on my table. Hello, and welcome to Audible. He wanted, I hate those. <laughs> Hello, and goodbye from Audible. Because Nula hates Audible. I don't hate it. They're like, half of, half of the audiobooks that I listen to are from Audible. You know, just can't 
bothered with the whole hello and welcome to Audible. You had like five seconds there where your voice oh, literally yeah, just yeah. turned into there's, um, there's this t-shirt that I really, really want and it, it has three boxes and it has one which is um, taken single waiting for a hair and tail and I'm like, yes. <laughs> I'm telling you, you're going all the place with this. Hmm? Your voice is going... I know. What? 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 Exactly. That's why I keep telling myself. But then... Then there was God. God sat upon a table one day. What? I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> that... My internet was just like, my internet just decided to kick itself in the balls, sorry. It's okay, I can tell. Because all I can hear right now is... Yes. God. Yes. God. You're going all over the place. It's hard to tell what you're talking about. What? Art. Um, a guy in my class made a joke that said, um, because we were talking about moving up and down in, like, classes for math, and he said, yeah, yeah, I've gone up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, yes, yes. Lemonade. <laughs> right. Due to your voice going all over the place, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my dog out for a walk. My and Alexa Lammy! <laughs> Newla? Newla? Right, yes, yes! I'm going to... Due to your voice going all over the place, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my dog out for a walk. My and Alexa Lammy! Newla? Newla? Mm -hmm. 